Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome this uh, morning to this rite, the rite of baptism, which we are beginning outside the church. It's a sign of receiving our Son into the church, a great sign. And more especially, we want to thank God for the gift of our Son. We thank God for the gift of uh, the Mother and the Father, and also the Godmother. And I now want to return to the parents. I know the father has not arrived, but I know he's on the way. I ask the parents, what name do you give to your child? Alex. Alex Chinonzo. What do you ask of God's uh, child for Alex Chinonzo? Baptism. Parents, you have asked to have your child baptized. He's doing so. You are accepting the responsibility of training him in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring him up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us by loving God and our neighbor. Do you clearly understand what you are undertaking? Good parents, are you ready to help the parents of this child in their duty as Christian parents? Alex Chinonzo, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of his cross. And now trace the cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. So I'll trace the sign of the cross on the forehead of Alex and then the priests who are here also with me and then the parents and then the godparents. Wait, wait, wait. And then to the priests also. Then the parents, then the godparents. And then also the other children here who can also do the same. The children also, you know, you can to join your, your group. You play the sign of the first place. Yeah, I love you, good. I love you, good. I love you. Ah, they are doing very well, huh? Good. Thank you very much. Now, this is the way we shall enter the church. Of course, we'll begin with the procession that is the, the altar boys, guys, and then uh, we follow the family that is now the family. Now let us begin our Mass. 
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, today we have gathered here to thank God for the many blessings that He has given to us. We know that our God is loving and our God continues to protect us and to care for us. In our faith, I confess to the Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been listening in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have done through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my most religious thoughts. Therefore, as Blessed Mary ever met you, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Stretch arm. When he comes and pray towards this temple, listen for my heavenly dwelling. Do all that the foreigner asks of you, that all the people of the earth may know your name, may fear you as do your people Israel, and may acknowledge that this temple which I have built is dedicated to your honor. The word of the Lord. Response serious, sir. Our response is go out. 
to all the world and tell the good news. Respond. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the St. Paul to the Galatians. Paul, an apostle, not from human beings, nor through a human being, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brothers who are with me to the churches of Galatia. I am amazed that you are so quickly forsaken, the one who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel. Not that there is another, but there are some who are disturbing you and wish to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel other than the one that we preach to you, let that one be accursed. As we have said before, and now I say again, when he preaches to you a gospel other than what we have received, let that one be accursed. Am I now carrying favor with humans or with God? Or am I seeking to please people? If I was still trying to please people, I would not be a slave of Christ. Word of God. The Lord be with you. the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, When Jesus has finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die. And he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He desires to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation and built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with him. But when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, 
I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, but said your word, and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with the soldiers subjected to me. And I said to one, Go, he, and he goes. And to another, Come here, and he comes. And to my slave, Do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turned, saying to the crowd, following him, I tell you, not even in Israel I have found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The Gospel of the Lord. In the word of God, there is power. In the name of Jesus, every day shall bow. Today is ninth Sunday of the year. In a special way, the readings of today are very good for us to reflect on. My prayer today is that through this gospel and the sermon of today, God will surely meet you and your needs through Christ our Lord. Amen. If you believe what I've just said, I want to hear your biggest amen. amen. Every Sunday is a weekly Easter. We are just trying to move away from Easter to the ordinary time of the year. Every Sunday is a weekly Easter. Why does the church make it like that? Because Sunday is the day of resurrection. And today we are in the church of resurrection. May the resurrection Jesus meet you today, your problems, and also solve your problems through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want everybody to wave to, to Jesus. Thank him, thank him. You can, you, can, you can declare his name, any name you know that God likes. Call him that name. And also present your week. This is a fresh week. Present it. All the activities, your place of work. Ask God to take control. Your children, your families. Whichever country you come from, what is happening? We pray for our country, Nigeria. Today is Democracy Day in Nigeria, 29th of May. We are praying that God will take control of every country, especially our country, Nigeria, for those in Nigeria, especially your own country, and also the country in which we are. We are asking God to take control. In Jesus' name, I pray. May God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Two things are very, very important in the readings of today, all the three readings. Prayer. Prayer. And the gift of wisdom. Prayer and faith. In the first reading of today, we, according to when Father was doing the introductory rites, we saw a man named Solomon, the first book of Kings, chapter 8. Everybody knows Solomon with one thing. Solomon was known and is known today for the gift of what? Wisdom. Always ask God to give you the wisdom, like the wisdom of Solomon. What is that wisdom? The wisdom to know the good thing, the right thing, and do it. 
and also the wisdom to know what is bad and avoid it. Why is it that the whole world is suffering? Many people are suffering. Sometimes people are not keeping to their words because many of us don't have wisdom. You may think you have wisdom, but it is said in the Bible, any wisdom that not of God is useless. Amen and amen. amen. So let us ask God today to give us the wisdom according to Solomon. Solomon was a good man. Solomon was a wise man. Solomon was a man of prayer. Today, in the readings of today, the first reading, he was saying, God cannot only answer the Jews or answer some people. Book of Genesis chapter 1, 26 says, He created everything. In Genesis 1, 31, it says, Everything God created is good. Every tribe God created is good. Any country God created is good. Therefore, let us embrace one another. Therefore, let us carry each other, each other's body. I'm praying that the readings of today, God will use them to meet you at the point of your need to Christ our Lord. The second reading is very, very important. The responsible Sam is telling us, go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. The good news we are talking about today in the first, in the second reading and also in the Responsera Sam is not only for the priests, those who are ordained, the pastors. No. And I thank God today we are having baptism. As far as you are a baptized person, you are qualified to preach the gospel. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, always preach the gospel. Touch your neighbor. <laughs> Touch your neighbor again. Say, neighbor, always preach the gospel. <laughs> amen and amen. It's not only, it's not only carrying your Bible. As a reverend father, I have my Bible. Through all of us. But not only carrying your Bible, but now always doing what is in the Bible. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, please always do what is in the Bible. Amen and amen. Yes. And if you do that today, I'll be very, very happy. Why is it that many people are suffering today? Why is it that many people are in trouble today? I will tell you a story. Somebody known as a psychologist, he was known as a psychologist. People come to him. He's not a priest, but he studied psychology and became a good psychologist. People came to him, normally come to him for problems. And one of the days, he was having his Bible on top of his table. And somebody entered. Ha, ah, you're not a priest, you're not a pastor. Why are you having your Bible on top of your table? And he said, if the whole world if everybody, if every race, if every, every tribe, if white and black do what is in the Bible, hungry we kill him. Are you with me? If everybody does what is here, if everybody, you normally do what is here, hungry we kill him. And it becomes an adage. So let us today do what is in the Bible, and God must surely see you through, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Going out and preaching the gospel. Not only reading your Bible, not only living a life of the Pharisees, but always practice what you preach. I normally tell myself, if after suffering as a priest, from one parish to another, from one assignment to another, from one thing to another, from one bishop to another, from this suffering to another, and if I don't go to heaven, it will become a disaster. So I am advising everyone today, always aim, your aim should be heaven. 
If your hand is not heaven, you are wasting your time. Touch your neighbor and say, If your hand is not heaven, you are wasting your time. Touch your neighbor. Amen and amen. Why am I saying that? Why am I saying that? I am coming from Nigeria. I'm on my, on my leave. I've been in Greece. I've been in Italy. And now I'm in Austria. I have seen many good things. I have seen many good things that people who are organized, countries who are organized, they have put in place so that people will not suffer. It is different from what we are seeing in our country, Nigeria. Today we are celebrating uh, one year in office of our dear president, but nothing yet has changed. Amen and amen. Nothing yet has changed. And they were telling us, please push us there and we are going to change everything. But at the end of the day, nothing has changed. So what, are, what, what am I saying? What I'm saying is that all these beautiful things you are seeing today, all the beautiful things we are enjoying today, you have your good car, you have a very nice job, you have millions of dollars or millions of euros in your account, you have nice clothes, you have nice shoes, you have nice this, you have nice that. One day you are going to leave them and go. But what matters is the good life you lived. And that is very, very important. What matters is the good life you live. As a priest, as an ordinary person, as an ordinary Christian, what matters is the good life. So always aim at the good life. And the good life must pay you. In Jesus' name I pray. <laughs> Last thing, the gift of faith. Isaiah 22, 22 says, Any door he opens, nobody will close. And as I'm saying now, this message is for somebody. Amen. God must surely open a way for you. Amen. Where nobody can close. Amen. If you go home today, you need this. Isaiah 22, 22. And Jeremiah 29, 11 says, God has a plan for you. And this message is for somebody. Tell, tell yourself, God has a plan for me. Touch yourself. Tell yourself again, God has a plan for me. Even though you have no papers, even though you have no work, even though you have no family, tell yourself, God has a good plan for me. And if you believe, I want to hear your seven big amen. Yes, it is my priestly prayer to you. The reading of the gospel, this gospel, Luke chapter 7, when you go home, you reflect on it. That I am not worthy, during Holy Communion we say, I am not worthy to receive you. Nobody is worthy, let me tell you. Even though I am a priest, I am not worthy, the true world, I am not worthy to celebrate the Eucharist. But God has given us this allowance. God has allowed us to celebrate, to touch Him. God has allowed you to receive Him. You are not worthy. You are not. You are a sinner. You are a liar. Sometimes you do ruburu, you do like this. Sometimes you don't keep to your words. Sometimes you want to kill your or you want to kill your master. You want to kill your mistress. Sometimes your ways are not straight, but you receive communion. God, you cannot judge others, but only God can judge. So, I am not worthy, the centurion said. And because of that faith, God must surely do something for you if you have a strong faith. Amen and amen. Yeah. The people came to Jesus and they were telling him, this man deserves something good. And Jesus was asking them why. He built the church. That time it was synagogue as the Jews. In our own time, in our own case, it is church. It is church. 
the this our people here call it what? French or what? We call it what? Aha, uh -huh. good. It is in our own context, it is church. How can somebody who build the church with his money and it, this person is suffering at Jesus? This man deserves something. Are you connecting with me? Yeah, yeah. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. So you must do something before God will bless you. Those who have put something in the church, those who have helped in training seminarians who later become priests, they can never lack in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyhow, you have helped the poor people. Some people have money, some people have houses, where some people have no place to sleep. If you help somebody today, this testimony of the centurion will come to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And immediately, the man said, Please don't come to my house. I am not worthy. Only say I was, and my servant must be okay. And I'm asking you, did it happen or did it not happen? I'm asking you. And it happened like that as a magic. It must be a portion today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It must be a testimony today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You will go out today and meet somebody who will change your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You will go out today. Genesis 18 14 says, With God, all things are possible. Make it your quotation, your quotable quotes. Say it, with God, all things are possible. Say it. With God, all things are possible. Say it with faith. With God, all things are possible. Whatever you are suffering in this Austria, I'm telling you today, somebody is telling you, a priest is telling you today, we are many priests. You are privileged to have about five priests in this mass. We are telling you today with our own priestly anointing that you will go out today and somebody will change your life through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask our Lord Jesus Christ to look lovingly on this child who is to be baptized on his parents and godparents and all the baptized. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, may this child in life give him the new life of baptism and welcome him into your holy church. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. Through baptism and confirmation, make him be your faithful follower and a witness to Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. Lead him by the holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. Make the lives of these parents and godparents example of faith to inspire this child. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. Keep his family always in your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. Renew the grace of our baptism, each one of us. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the church. We pray for the church that we may grow in unity and love as the body of Christ. Lord, hear us. of people everywhere. The Bible teaches us that God has no favorites, but loves and accepts all people. May we be open to other people and welcome strangers into our community as God commands. Lord, hear us. following the good news. 
Paul commands us to be faithful in following the good news we have heard. May we try always to live by the gospel, searching for what is of value in God's sight as servants of the Christ. Lord, help us. Hand. 
If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, in you now the mass of your own baptism, rejection, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. And now I ask all of you, do you reject Satan? Yes, sir. And all his works? Yes, sir. And all his empty promises? Yes, sir. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Yes, Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Yes, Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? Yes, this is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. My dear people of God, the parents and good parents, is it your will that Alex, Alex Chinonzo should be baptized in the faith of the child which we have all professed with you? Yes. Do you want me to baptize Alex? Yes. Okay then. So we proceed to the baptism. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.
receive the light of Christ, parents and godparents. This light is entrusted to you to become a man in Christ. This child of years has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the night. May he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. When the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in heaven and kingdom through Christ our Lord. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, may the left fear and the dark state, may he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his, his faith to the praise and the glory of God the Father through Christ our Lord. You have put on Christ in Him. You have been baptized. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. He is now called the child of God, for so indeed he is. In confirmation, he will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In Holy Communion, he will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God his Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child, in the spirit of our common sonship, let us therefore continue to pray for the child, for the parents and good parents, so that all of them may be able to grow to perfection until they reach the heavenly kingdom through Christ our Lord. Now I want the mother to come here, please. And the Godmother has to come here, please. Then the father can move a little bit aside. I want to pray for the mother. Here he is, stand here. I will call you at your own time. <laughs> God the Father, through his son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to our Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shining on their children. May he bless the mother of this child and the Godmother of this child. They thank God for the gift of their child. May she be one with him, and thank him forever in heaven, through Christ our Lord. Thank you very much. Now you can go aside now. Receive the baby, please. Now the Father, the good Father, please stand here. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the Father of his child and the God Father. He, they and their wives will be the first teachers of their the, the child in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bear witness to the faith of what they say and what they do. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Thank you. Now you can come and stand here. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. And His goodness may He continue to pour out His blessings upon the sons and daughters of His. May He make them always wherever they may be faithful members of this holy people. May He send His peace upon all who are gathered here. We may call his prayer through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you now and forever through Christ our Lord. Can we put our hands together now for our music of Christ? Thank you very much. Now I invite the sister and officer please to come forward. The Lord is good. All the time. All the time. The Lord is good. Thank you. Uh, as we uh, transition our community, when a child is baptized in our community, the community used to give the child a, a gift. On behalf of the community, the chaplain and the functionaries are presenting the gift to baptize the child to the mother, of course. <laughs>
you can open it and shake it. Father Marisu Diaz from Sri Lanka eh? to bless this chain and after blessing the chain I'll also give him the privilege also to put the chain in the neck of the baby. So please come here. Lord, I humbly ask you to bless this chain so that our baby will bless. We ask in remembrance of his incorporation into the church, in remembrance of the fact that he remains with you today. We ask this to the best Lord. Amen. Thank you very much. Now I still uh, give him the honor to take the other chain, open it slowly and then he will put it in the neck of the baby. Maybe I'll ask the father to come down here because he's too tall. <laughs> I hope Alex will not cry. Please, Alex, come. I was told that Alex doesn't reject anybody. <laughs> He's ready to go anywhere. So, and I can say it is true. So, Alex, don't worry. God, our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the gift of Alex Chinonzo, who has been baptized today. We commend him, O oh Lord, into your hands that we may bless him, so that he may be able to grow in your wisdom and understanding. Today, as he has joined this great community through the sacrament of baptism, we pray that you will bless him and will protect him and will guide him in his going and in his coming. Bless also the parents and the good parents who are going to be the primary teacher of this young boy, so that they will always be a role model to him as he grows up. And may the blessed Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit may come upon you now and forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yeah, I think Alex is a very unique child. Eh? <laughs> you know, he's just looking at me and listening to what I'm saying. Well, this one might become a priest, yeah? <laughs> yeah, so. So, my dear brothers and sisters, this is our newest member in this community in the name of Alex. And the good parents for the upbringing. So, Alex, now you can go back to your parents. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, I also hand over the baptismal certificate. So I hand over the baptismal certificate also to the parents. It's very, very important that this child, as he grows up, I mean, when the time for going to school comes, when you are asked whether he's baptized, you say he's baptized, and this one is very important, especially for the Catholic schools. So I hand over this certificate now to the parents. 
so that the parents will always have a proof that their son has been baptized on this particular day. So, can you now face the people, please? Now, let us put our hands together for the family and the friends. Thank you very much. Now, you may get seated. Now, get seated, please. I now invite the children from Sunday school to come in. Why you can continue singing?
We come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just so did you in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your might works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we say in the name of your glory as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Son, his 
wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of the church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death and will to reconcile us to yourself, land that we who are nourished by the body and blood of the Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. together united as God's family pray with the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles and you say to each one of us here present this afternoon, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your child. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Let us now offer one another the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Jesus Christ, he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer before Holy Communion, act of sorrow. My God, I detest all the sins of my life. I am sorry for them because they have offended you. My God, you are so good. I resolve never to commit sin anymore. My good God, pity me, have mercy on me, forgive me.